Welcome to the SR Nexco video tutorials. The purely light curing lab composite from Evo Clarvivident allows you to design framework based and framework free prosthetic restorations. These video tutorials show you how to use SR Nexco. Select the chapter that covers the indications for which you want to use SR Nexco. SR Nexco can be used for various framework free restorations. These restorations include inlays, onlays, anterior crowns, and veneers. This chapter shows you how to use SR Nexco to create an inlay. First, fabricate a working model with a detachable die as a working basis. It is recommended that you apply model sealer to treat the surface and protect the die. Next, the dies and adjoining parts of the model are sealed. Apply SR model separator in two coatings. Make sure that all areas of the die are well covered. Please also isolate the adjoining model surfaces. Allow the individual coatings to react for three minutes each. To achieve the desired tooth shade, please observe the liner combination table. Basically, the liner is applied in two coatings. Apply the first layer of liner in a thin coating to the cavity walls and to the cavity floor. Do not cover the marginal areas at this step. Pre-cure each segment for 20 seconds using a quick pre-curing light. Now apply the second coating of liner. At this stage, apply liner incisal to the marginal areas and along the course of the enamel. All cavity surfaces should now be coated with liner. The thickness of the liner coating should be at least 150 microns. It is important that you now apply the liner up to the preparation margin to ensure a reliable bond between the preparation margin and the looting composite. Finally, pre-cure each segment again for 20 seconds. Please note that polymerized SR Nexco liner should not be separated from the dye. The liner is now pre-cured. Thoroughly remove the resulting inhibition layer using a disposable sponge. Now the actual layering procedure begins. Press the first layer of Nexco paste firmly onto the liner surface to ensure an effective bond between the liner and the composite. To increase the shade effect in the interdental area and cavity, you may want to use occlusal dentin. Then pre-cure each segment again for 20 seconds using a quick pre-curing light. Slightly emphasize the marginal ridges with dentin. Subsequently, build up the dentinal plateau with dentin materials. To intensify the shade effect, apply characterizations with SR Nexco stains and cover them with incisal and effect transpa layering materials. Pre-cure the areas that you have built up with Nexco by illuminating each segment again for 20 seconds with the quick. Subsequently, establish a lifelike occlusal morphology and pre-cure all areas for 20 seconds using the quick. For the final polymerization, apply a layer of SR gel onto the entire Nexco surface. Make sure that the layer is not too thick and that all areas are fully covered. Secure the die on the object holder and mount them in the correct position in the Lumamat 100 light furnace. Observe the following parameters to conduct the final polymerization. If you use other polymerization devices, please refer to the instructions for use. After completion of the polymerization process, completely remove SR gel using running water and carefully remove the restoration from the dye. Finish the restoration with cross-cut tungsten carbide burrs and fine diamonds. It is important to use low speed and light pressure to finish the restoration. Remove the thin inhibition layer and establish the shape and surface structure. Carefully smooth out the ridges of the occlusal surface and the proximal surfaces with rubber polishers. Pay particular attention to the margins to avoid rendering them too short. 
after you have smoothed out the restoration, polish it. Utilize a handpiece and suitable polishing brushes and buffs at slow speed and light pressure for pre-polishing and high gloss polishing. Use universal polishing paste. Do not use a polishing motor to polish SR Nexco restorations. Please note that an adhesive cementation protocol is mandatory for framework-free SR Nexco restorations. For more information on the application procedure, please refer to the SR Nexco instructions for use.